I've been playing around with this thing and I really like it. It's it's a good game. This is the one that I fixed in this thing here. But it got me thinking. It would be so much better if it had a rechargeable battery in it. Rather than having four AA batteries or a 5 volt USB-C cable. So there is no rechargeable batteries in this. I'm wondering if there's a way that I can bodge it. Because we all know I am Captain Bodge. So that's exactly what I'm going to try and do. And this is what I'm thinking of doing. So this is the TP4056, I think it's called, charging module. This is a 3.7 volt rechargeable battery. I know from messing around with this previously that up here we had six volts going in to this little chip here and coming out of it was 3.3. So this voltage regulator will down whatever you put into this to 3.3 volts. This is gonna be 3.7 when it's depleted or four point something when it's fully charged. So my thinking is this, the battery can sit here. We remove all this, the TP, whatever it is, sits over here. Again, we remove this, we're not gonna need these. We also, <laughs> oops, uh, cut away here, cause I don't think this battery is gonna fit in here. It might do, let's try it. Almost, but if I remove, this back section here, which I'm not going to need anymore, on both sides, that will give me plenty of room on this board, because that sits on top, like that. And you're not going to see that, because they're going to be covered with these. It would also be nice, well, it would also be imperative, that I take the 5 volts that go into here, and feed it into this, so that I can use a USB-C cable, to charge the battery. So, I mean, there will be five volts going into this. I just need to figure out where it is and then probably have to cut these traces here so that all of this circuitry here is no longer used. This all makes sense in my head. I mean, it might be uh, complete nonsense and might not work at all, but let's find out. I think before I start putting this all together and sticking everything in and making it look pretty. I am just going to do this temporarily. So I'm going to wire in the battery. In fact, let's just see what voltage... No, I'm not going to wire the battery. What am I going to do? Yeah, I'm going to put the battery in. Right, let's see what voltage is in this battery. Altimeter on voltage DC. Right, we've got four volts there, which you can almost see. Four volts. So if I connect the battery to this and then run some wires from this to here is that is it gonna work again I don't know but let's find out I'm just going to put this temporarily up to the negative battery terminal, which should work fine on that. Right, well that's basically it. Let's put the screen back on. So in theory, that should come on now, right? No. Let's just double check we've got the voltage here. Uh, we do, but I've used... Yes, I shouldn't have used that. What an idiot. Because that is the one... <laughs> that's the one in the middle. Of all the grounds to pick, I picked the one that isn't going to work. Let me find a better ground. Right, there's, there's plenty of grounds. Well, you know, I can use this one here, can't I? Thinking about it, because that's I'm going to be removing this anyway. So let's just temporarily tap this on here. Right, 
All right, unfortunately that's come on. So I'm kind of bypassing the switch here, which is not good. Yeah, still need that switch to work. So obviously going straight to that point there is not gonna work. Yeah, I don't wanna do that. So I still need to go through the switch. All right, let's disconnect this before it explodes or something. I'm thinking about it. Just because six it's expecting six volts here, it doesn't mean it's not gonna work off 3.7 or whatever it is, because all it does is go to that point there anyway and get converted down. So let's take that off there and we'll put the positive to here and then the negative to here. Right, well the good news is that's not come on. So if I switch this now, is it gonna come on? Yes, yes it is. Right, so I just need to think of a way of getting this in all nice and tidy. I also need to make sure that that TP4056 is going to charge up that battery. But I can test that now. So if we plug that into there, do we get the light? Yes, we do. Let's see if that battery is charging up. Yeah, you can see it climbing. 4.16. Go on, next one. Yep, yeah, 4.17. And it's drawing 0.49 amps. So that is working. Right, now let me see if I can find a way of getting the 5 volts from here into this little board. So I'm going to plug a USB-C in. Switch it on. Voltage DC. Yeah, it's there. 5 volts. And there's a little test point there as well. Right, let's get wiring. Thanks, Dave. <sighs> right, I'm done. So we've got the USB-C. There's two points here. We've got the five volt and the ground going to the in of this TP4056. And then we've got the battery connected to the battery terminals up here, positive, negative. And then we've got the output positive going to the original point of the AA batteries and the ground going to, where's the ground going? To there, to the other end of the original point of the batteries. Is that going to work? I have no idea if I'm honest. It should do, but who knows, because I did it. Well, let's just give it a quick test. Screen in. First and foremost, does it come on? What have I done? Right, I've got it working now. I, I had to put the diode back on down here. You remember I took a diode off down here. I, I don't fully understand why, but I think it's got something to do with... So when the cable's plugged in here, it disconnects the batteries. So it, it, I'm, I'm thinking it thought there was a cable in. So I put that back on and it now appears to work. Like that. And it does also appear to charge. Today we get a red light. 
and we're taking 0.54 uh, amps at 4.8 volts and it still comes on while it's charging I think it's okay but I, I don't know what's the worst that can happen explosion right I'm actually gonna leave that plugged in and I'm gonna see if that goes to a I think it goes to a green light when it's fully charged so that would be good if that happens I'm gonna leave that and I'm going to look at this. Now I need to remove some of this plastic because it's not going to fit as it is. Hoovered up one of the uh, yellow buttons. Oops. Yes, I did. I'll clean up all this up later. Right, let's try and get this back together now and let's see if it's going to work. Right, is it going to come on? Yes it is. Awesome. Is it going to go off? Yes it is. Right, that's good. The only thing I won't be able to do now is I won't be able to see when the battery's charged or not, will I? Because I can't see the light. Is there anything I can do with that? Because obviously the light is here on this board. Let's plug it in. Yeah. I wonder whether I could use like some hot glue over the LED, sort of build it up. Whether it would like diffuse it, like drill a little hole here. Uh, what else can I do? I'll tell you what I'm going to do first. I'm going to leave it on charge and I want to know if it fully charges up. Aha! Right, well it doesn't go green, but it goes blue, so it is a different colour. Right, what can I do? Can I drill a little hole in this? I don't know, is the honest answer. Well, obviously I can drill a hole in it, I just don't know whether I want to. Let's start off by doing it very small. With this. Ah, that's barely noticeable but is the light going to shine through it I hear you ask no idea but I'm going to add some hot snot and pray that it works as some kind of diffusion type thing well, I've got no idea whether that's going to work but let's try it oh <laughs> it does I don't know whether you can see that let me turn these lights off there we go. That's actually a lot brighter than that with the naked eye. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So I can see at a glance that that is charging. Let's just wait for it to go blue. Come on. There we go. It's blue. Nice.
Stupid dim light. <laughs> <laughs> 